a former U.S. Navy sailor who served a year in federal prison for taking photos in classified areas of a nuclear submarine based in Connecticut wants to sue former President Barack Obama and the Justice Department Christian Saucier, 31 who was pardoned in May by President Donald Trump, filed an action Monday in federal court in New York seeking a jury trial or $20 million in damages. Saucier, who currently lives in Arlington, Vermont, with his wife and daughter, says his constitutional rights to equal protection under the laws were violated. He says he was treated more harshly than others in higher positions who have mishandled classified information, including Hillary Clinton, who was infamously using a private email server during her tenure of Secretary of State and retired Gen. David Petrius, who handed over his journals containing classified information to his biography who was also his mistress. Saucier, 31, believes Obama and other former federal officials, including Attorney General Loretta Lynch, FBI Director James Comey, FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe and FBI agent Peter Strzok, should be held responsible for treating him unequally Scroll down for video I've always contended that I made a mistake by mishandling classified information, Saucier told the Day of New London on Monday My complaint is other people weren't held to the same standard. Speaking to Fox News in June, Saucier contended that two of his shipmates had ALOs taken pictures and were not treated like criminals They interpreted the law in my case to say it was criminal. He told Fox, but they didn't prosecute Hillary Clinton. Hillary is still walking free. Saucier admitted in May 2016 that he had taken photos inside the USS Alexandria's engine room while it was docked in Groton, Connecticut, seven years earlier. He said he wanted to show his family where he worked, but now acknowledges he was wrong to take the pictures Federal prosecutors persuaded him to plead guilty by threatening to paint him as a resentful serviceman who risked the security of the United States and then destroyed a camera and a laptop computer to hide the evidence But Saucier believes prosecuting him was a politically motivated decision driven by the Obama Justice Department's desire to appear tough on the kinds of crime it was sweeping under the rug when Clinton was their investigative target Saucier's pardon drew eyeballs to his post-incarceration plight, the married father of one said the only job he could get after his release from prison was as a sanitation worker Trump often mentioned Saucier's case during the presidential campaign as he criticized his rival Clinton for using an unsecured private email server to handle sensitive information They took the kid who wanted some pictures of the submarine He told the crowd just days before his November 2016 election That's an old submarine They've got plenty of pictures, if the enemy wants them, they've got plenty of them He wanted to take a couple of pictures They put him in jail for a year. We've never been in a situation like this, Trump added, before pivoting to bash his Democratic opponent and then she's allowed to run for president Saucier was a 22-year-old machinist's mate on the nuclear-powered Los Angeles-class attack submarine when he took the photos His lawyer said he knew the photos would be classified, but he wanted to show his family what he did in the Navy He denied sharing the photos with any unauthorized recipient. He was convicted of one count of felony unauthorized retention of national defense information and entered federal prison in October 2016 
After serving a year behind bars, Saucier received an other than honorable discharge from the Navy. My conviction and subsequent sentence for a minor military infraction compared to the treatment of politically connected individuals is a glaring example of a violation of the rights of all Americans to have equal protection under the law," Saucier told Fox News. Clinton's case was the subject of bipartisan acrimony. Comey, then the nation's top cop, announced in July 2016 that his agency had wrapped up its probe of the classified material on her private server and determined that it would be improper to prosecute her. Watch the latest video at ref equals video.foxnews.com video.foxnews.com a Republican cried foul but later cheered Comey when he told Congress just days before the election that a new cache of emails had been located, necessitating a reboot of the investigation. That step came after DailyMail.com reported on the existence of a laptop that had belonged to the disgraced former Congressman Anthony Weiner, whose wife Huma Abedin had been Clinton's deputy campaign chairwoman. Clinton and her attorneys deleted more than 33,000 emails from her server before handing it over to law enforcement agents. Those messages were never recovered. But some of the material that was forwarded to Weiner was also classified. Somehow, Comey testified last year in a Senate hearing, her emails were being forwarded to Anthony Weiner, including classified information by her assistant Huma Abedin, 